Well, it turns out we end up, Justin ended up bringing us back to North Carolina. I hated it for him that he lost his trailer. Uh, I mean, all this was unforeseen, but it turns out that, you know, his trailer was twisted up so bad he couldn't use it anymore. And just so happened, I've got several trailers that I'm not using. And so Justin said, look, I'll, I'll take it home, get a chance to look at the trailers. So we end up striking the deal. And I've got an old trailer that is fixing the axle. He's going to check on some stuff to see if his axle's under the twisted up trailer back at home. The young man. And uh, we had a Pepsi trailer for many years in the woods as our service truck, service trailer. And Justin seen it. He liked the way it looked. He liked the way it's laid out. And it's uh, it's got room for all the parts you would possibly ever need in the woods. So he's going to go ahead and buy that also. And, uh, you know, it turned out, I mean, I hated that he lost his trailer, but uh, I'm glad I was able to help him out. And he's definitely helped me out by getting rid of some of this old stuff that's just sitting around. And everybody knows if something sets long enough, it's just going to go to bad. So it's turned out to be a really good deal. And uh, uh, nice meeting Justin, and he's been a good kid. And I know he's going to do well. And, I, and I'm, I'm glad to see my stuff going to somebody that's going to use it and take care of it. So. But that's a win-win that. in my book. Of course, they beefed it up a lot, but that's, they give trouble. Probably every three or four months. And another one over there is, a, is it called a Riley. Oh, God. That's the trailer that needs to action. Oh, God. Right. And that's another one. And then these last two are the pits. Every one. Look at every one of them. Every one of these wipes will crack here. It doesn't, it doesn't get any worse. We were always playing this and played the inside and out. So this is, I think it's called a 21 Laker suspension. Yeah, sir. It's got them big bushings in there. Yeah. And the same thing here. The same kind of suspension on that. I like this little butter. Yeah. I might, that might have been why, why that standard on my trailer held up so good. Yeah. I think these are made with Schedule 80 pipes. Check the, the tires, brakes, make sure everything's working on them. So okay. <laughs> so we don't have no more of my issues. Yeah. 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 And uh, how much you sell that thing for? That. The low boy. Mm -hmm. I got a guy supposed to come and buy it. It's twenty thousand. Okay. If something happens. To All right. Give me a price on um, two of the white ones or two of these. Uh -huh. Um, two of those and, and that. I'm with a Pepsi trailer. Um. All right, I'm not five, it'll be 12,000 for these. Okay. And the Pepsi over five. Okay. All right. So we're at 17. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Brand new A55 Bellabar. You can see a chain sharpener in here. Saunas. We're out here at Bobby's place. Uh, got him home today and looking at some equipment, looking at log trailers that I might be buying. Uh, Pepsi trailer that he's got full of tools and stuff and uh, looking for some other equipment that I could use in the woods that he's uh, giving me some advice on. So hopefully we can strike a deal and get some of this equipment back to Virginia soon. I was just uh, adding more. Than, uh, all they done it for is to, to meet the bridge law. I mean, I asked, the, I was, they would give to me and I hauled. Yeah. I know this right here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> it's not a Pepsi truck. That's uh, mm -hmm. paper on, but, yeah. which is jumped up now, but there's, I think that's about it. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, which I don't know, there's not much to look at. If you want to look at one, we got If my axles will work, I'd take it. All right, here, have that. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. But everything was built on, but you know how that goes. So, I guess you want to wait on 12, 13 until you see if your stuff will work. The Pepsi trailer, 17. Yeah, 17. You want that sharpener? Yes, yeah, sir. All right, 17, 5. Yep. Um, I want those. I do want them. Which ones? These? These, these two okay. as well. But I want to start with these two. All right. What I'll do is 
if we can get these two ready. Okay. And then if you could put the oil on one of these. I tell you what then, let me do this. I need to check with Justin to see if he can help me check them out and make sure they're good to go. Yep. And um, I'll call you back tonight okay. to let you know the earliest I think we'll have them. Which they should be okay, but I just want to double check and then you got yes. to get them out All right, I'm down here in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Uh, struck a deal with Bobby on some trailers, some other stuff as well, uh, and a world famous Pepsi trailer. Uh, I did buy that. and. Um, Looking forward to getting the stuff back, getting it to work, uh, getting my guys down here to come and pick it up for me and uh, getting it in the woods. Uh, I really appreciate Miss Lori and Mr. Bobby for all their kind help and um, getting me set up for uh, making some more uh, logs go to the mill. So I greatly appreciate that. Hey guys, uh, we're at the shop today. Justin has came down to uh, pick up his log trailers and uh, which I spent a few days getting them ready to go, making sure the tires and all that stuff was good. The only thing that I really couldn't check was the lights, and I was worried about that, but here we are. They got them hooked up. Most of the lights is working good. Some one of the side markers ain't working on one of the trailers, but, but anyway, he's got them. He's got them hooked up. They're fixing to the head out. Got the old Pepsi trailer out front here. He's supposed to get that for him from me. So looking forward to him getting that stuff, and I really hope Justin does well. At, in his uh, endeavor of logging. Um, the way he does things is a lot different than the way we did it. I mean, he's out buying his own timber, and, and that's that's the hallmark to making money logging. Most of your money is going to be made off earth cuts. You know, if you if you bid it right now, you can lose a lot of money if you don't uh, cruise it right. But, but I think he's got a handle on that. He's, he's, he's doing really good. And I want him to do good, because the better he does, the more stuff he's going to buy from it, which is a big deal for me with no income. But anyway, uh, but he's getting this uh, this stuff here out, and hopefully he'll come back and get the Pepsi trailer, and uh, hopefully he'll do well and get some more log trailers. But uh, I wish him the best of luck. So I just got a call from one of my drivers uh, that's carrying the log trailer out of Bobby's place, and he hasn't made it off Bobby's property yet, but. He's having some issues when they had to hook the strap around the truck and pull the trailer down. I guess they left the air, air handler or air hands, the glad hands attached. And uh, it ended up ripping the lines in half once he got up the road a little bit. So I got to go up there and look at that and see how, how we can remedy the situation. I don't Is it that hard plastic line? It's metal or hard? It's, no, it's, uh, I think it's rubber. Yeah, he missed it. He, he missed I thought it. it was, yeah, he dragged it. Well, Steve, Steve thinks he's leaving, but he really ain't leaving. I can assure you of that. I heard it slow leak at first. Then yeah, well, it was slow leaking up here. I I, I heard it slow leak up here. No way to slide right. it because right. the air the airlock the airlock ain't working right now on it. See, he probably got a set of lines. This ain't sad. You got two adjustable wrenches. Oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, it should be square. Mm -hmm. I might have one more. You might have to have it hold. From on a Mac I had. Okay. Oops, you. You know you can go a little fast. You know you go a little faster than the six. Yeah, he over there. I don't want to have him with it. Yeah, he could drag it down a little bit further to get it out of the way. This is just another day in the life. If you do, I'll, I'll replace them because I got a brand new set of hooks. Look, hope the fifth wheel won't. If the fifth wheel ain't move, he's gonna rip them right back off again. I can't. What yeah. won't move? The fifth wheel the plate. Fifth wheel all the way back, and what he did when he turned, he ripped them clean out of the trailer of the truck. Oh, it was so long. Yeah. Got you. Okay. So, so you need. Might might have had these. So. Yeah. All right. 
Here, keep keep that fitting there. All right. Let Here's me, the other piece up. Just keep that, right. and I'll yep. just go and find another one. Then. If not, if not, we can piece it together and at least get us to the truck stop. I got a, a, a lot more hoses. I don't know if I got. See, this stuff is is ninety miles, and now they, a lot of it, they go from that and they go away from that. Let me think for a minute. See, there's a, there's a there's a green one somewhere out here. You were too far. Yeah, this will fit my glad hand in. Whoa, it started. Yes, sir. I guess right here, Wayne. If we can cut this off flush, you know, square it like. I thought I seen something up there. That's what I said. Yeah. All right, you want me to run the car and get them? Yeah. Well, at least you can find the one in the shop, dog. They come with yeah. glad hands in the pack. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll Some be right back. Some people can't stand them. Yeah, because if you had a straight one. So I got Adam out here today. Uh, he's a veneer log buyer. He buys specialty quality uh, white oak logs. Uh, I guess they make furniture, uh, different things. I'm not sure exactly what they make with veneer logs, but I know it has to be a certain spec uh, and certain quality for, for them guys to buy it. So he's out today to take a look at the white oaks that I've got cut and uh, ready for hauling uh, at this time. So if he's interested in any, he'll buy them. Uh, basically, he buys them on the spot. They wire me the money, and he sends a truck to pick them up. Hey, Joe. Hey, how are you? Morning. Yep. Doing fine. Yes, sir. All right. Over here's some white oak. All right. 
Hey, good morning. I'm Adam Smith uh, with Bokeh Veneer. I'm uh, here today to take a look at some uh, white oak logs. Um, and uh, we're going to inspect them for veneer quality, whether they meet the standard, and uh, speak with the logger and discuss uh, different grades um, that are available for export and some opportunities for him for resale. I don't know what you can use out of this stuff, but I don't okay. want to send it up to Augusta before I get an opinion on it. Well, I buy from Augusta. Yeah, kind of, you know, we buy the veneer grade and yep. then uh, you got kind of your stave grade. And yep. Augusta's got some export orders that they fill with oh, containers and stuff like that. So. Buy what you want, I'll send them what you don't, I guess. So for veneer spec, it's like uh, lighter the color is better, um, no knots. It's, um, just uh, nice straight centered parts. Um, yes, sir. It looks like the growth is pretty good here. I mean, you want slower growth. Yeah, this is what you call um, double section. You can see it a little bit. Yeah, better. I'd say it better now. Yeah. Not a V dot. Oh um, man, yeah, they got certain rules. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. My driver took that load of pine out of here and. He got down to the end here, and he, he's not as experienced in the log woods as he should be. Um, he was trying to do too much at one time, in all honesty. He, he pulled down here too fast. He didn't stop. When he got to going, he, he pulled out into the road, and he wasn't at a proper angle to efficiently pull out. Well, instead of backing up and doing a three-point turn, he tried to do a one-point turn, which is not backing up at all and he ended up in the daggone ditch well we tried to get the skitter up here tried to pull him out tried to do everything you know that we could without pulling the loader up here well the skitter about flipped the truck over when he started pulling that when he started pulling on it it, it, it wanted to turn that truck over with all that weight on the back don't back up do not back up going back this if we can get this done right here he's going back this damn thing up back here and he got them going to go find a new rod somewhere else you might as well go tell that car to turn around they're wasting their time Direct traffic to turn around. I got you. you better hope to God the cops don't show up before we get this loader pulled out here. Well, he don't know when to stop. That's the problem. He just wants to keep going. He don't know when to stop. Yeah, I know he doesn't. He, he don't know how to back up and he don't know how to stop. Yeah. And he doesn't know what easy is either. Now. He gonna pull that loader all the way up here with that skitter. And he gonna unload it right here in the road. Yeah, it is. It, well, if Bobby would have got me that excavator over here, we could have used that to unload it real quick. But he gonna pull that loader up here. At least he'll be able to stay. He, uh, I, I, I don't know. Nah, I don't know. What we got to do here now is we got to. We don't have another tractor truck here right this second. And even if we did, it wouldn't help us out too much right now but we got to clean up around this loader get the wood out from around it we're going to hook that skitter up to it with the grapple we're going to pull that loader up here like you move it in the woods you can move that loader in the woods with the uh, skitter we're going to grab that loader we're going to pull that loader on up here right on next to this truck and trailer with the skitter and uh we're going to unload it right here in the road we're blocking traffic we got to hurry up i, I don't want the law to come out here uh, which I'm sure they're going to come here eventually, but I'd like to get some wood off that truck before they show up. Um, but right now we're just focusing on uh, cleaning up around the loader so we can pull it out with the skitter. So we there had to go down there, he does, don't he? clean up around the loader, unhook the saw buck from the from the loader, hook on to it with the skitter. We pulled the skitter and the loader up here, and uh, 
it took us a minute to get that situated up here to the operator's liking. And uh, once he got it, we unhooked the straps, we unloaded the load, we stacked the load up to the uh, right hand side of the driveway so I can come in here tomorrow with the excavator and load it up first thing in the morning. Um, once it was unloaded, we pulled the loader back, put it where it belonged, and we were able to just hook on to it with the skitter and it came right on out. There was no issue. The, the biggest issue we had was I didn't have nothing on track on the job, so we had to clean up around the loader and took forever. And the second issue we had was the truck sitting on an angle. It's got two fuel tanks. And with it sitting on that angle, both tanks are open, so all the fuel actually drained from one side to the other, and it, it pulled to the it went to the opposite tank of where it pulls to the engine, so it acted like the truck was out of fuel. Uh, luckily, we had enough air in the air tank um, to get us out. We just released the brakes that need the truck to run, and the skidder was able to pull it up to where it's sitting now. So overnight, what we'll do is let the fuel level itself back off and um, hopefully first thing in the morning we'll get it started up and load it and uh, get back on the road. And that is what we're doing these days. So 